Yeah, the future of the security in this country is the perception of the people. If they feel secure, then we, we know that we've done our job. So we've got to do everything that we can to make the people feel secure. When that happens, it's enduring. Um, if, you, if, you if you conduct disjointed operations aimed solely at the enemy, you end up creating short security, short-term security in particular places, but it's not enduring. So the counterinsurgency approach, which protects the population and builds up their sense of security, has got to be the way to achieve a long-term solution. It, we need more trainers. Um, the, the continuing growth of the capability of the Afghans uh, depends on us bringing expertise in here, which can teach and train them and develop them. And we haven't got it at the moment, and we need it. So, yeah, it's very serious and it needs to, it's, a, it's a requirement that needs to be met. If we're going to get the Afghan security forces to a level that they can start to take over from us in an enduring way. Um, and, I, and the people who should be providing those forces don't want to be let off the hook. But of course, we're military men and we'll do our level best to find ways around the lack of resources that this may result in. Um, but I think it would be serious if we didn't get what we need. This comes at a huge cost um, and we, we have to be very careful that we don't allow this to uh, sway our judgment. Our professional judgment must remain absolutely fo focused on achieving the right outcomes. But at the same time, you inevitably reflect on the human cost of this. Both our own forces uh, and the innocent civilians who are killed uh, as a result of our operations and the, the occasions when we can't protect them from this insurgency which kills them indiscriminately. There's progress. There is a, we're building a, 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 a really credible platform of security on which others will be able to build. Uh, what we mustn't do now is to start to uh, waver in that endeavour. Um, so I feel very strongly that what we should continue to do is to support this operation with the hugely professional British forces that we have committed um, to continue to show the sort of dedication and commitment uh, that we have up to now and to be part of building a continuing foundation for progress in this country.